everybody. I'm Brian Harmson, and this is VDL Demystified, the bonus levels. I was recently asked by a friend, uh, how do you deal with swung eighth notes in a chart where you have sex tuplets going on? Because the, the result is kind of a jarbled mess. I'll just let you hear it real quick. Here's how it sounds. I've got some swing text or uh, tempo text that says swing here, and this is how these will sound together. So not exactly the most desirable uh, sex tuplets there. Um, the way you can get around that is first you'll want to come up here uh, under the play tab on the ribbon. This is in Sibelius 7. And make sure that live playback is checked on. You can see here if I select these notes, it's currently turned on. Under my inspector here, I've got these uh, three different options, live velocity, live start position, and live duration. And they all just give you different ways of manipulating the playback. Um, you'll see if I uncheck it that those three things aren't available. So you'll first want to come up here and make sure that's turned on. Or you can hit Shift L as I just did right there. And that'll turn it on. So again, this is pretty bumpy sounding. Uh, this one choice of word anyways. You want to come over here and choose Live Start Position. And basically what this little feature does is gives you the ability to manipulate where things start with regards to where they're supposed to start. Uh, so even with if they were straight rhythms, say I wanted this eighth note to start a little bit earlier, I could set this to a negative value. Or if I wanted it to start later, I could set it to a positive value. So here, checking live start position and just leaving it at zero essentially overrides this swing feature. Um, now you'll hear when it plays back, it's better, the sextuplets are better, but the swung eighth notes still don't line up, and that's something I'll address in a second. So just, uh, I'll actually let you hear just the sextuplets, so you can hear those. So you can hear there, the bar that I checked that on was good. Second bar, uh, not so much. And the way we'll uh, address this whole eighth notes not necessarily lining up with the sextuplets uh, in a swing fashion is something we can address in the dictionary, which if you listen here, those eighth notes still aren't quite lining up. And that's because the interpretation of those eighth notes for swing uh, isn't a tripletized swing. Like I think most people in marching band or uh, the marching arts, when you think swing, you're just going to think a tripletized swing. Uh, and I'll just kind of let you hear this on its own. So you can hear it's not exactly a tripletized swing. So we'll come up here to the dictionary, pull that up, and you'll want to make sure that the system text tab is selected. Scroll down and find swing. I'm actually, you could change swing uh, and, or swung and swing as well. I'm actually going to change just swing so you can kind of hear the difference. And you'll see here the effect is rhythmic feel, regular swing. So I'll just click on that choose triplet swing then click OK and we'll play this. I'll let you hear uh, these two bars or just that one bar. Now I'll go ahead and fix these as well so you can hear them uh, back to back. So listen how this tripletized swing is lining up a little more than these. You'll hear a little bit of a difference there. Actually, you won't hear it because I didn't add in swung. There we go. Let's try that again. All right, now listen. So you can hear on the regular swing that upbeat eighth note is just a little bit ahead of what we would consider a triplet. So hopefully that was helpful, and we'll see you next time.